I am really excited about what we're gonna show you today because we've got one amazing product. You can get three different types of nail services out. Plus, this is coming Black Friday in a big way right now. All right, Tracy, my favorite. Always. I can't wait to talk about this because- This is a favorite. It is a favorite, it's huge. We've got slick pour powders. We've got 108 colors launching Black Friday. On top of? On top of the original 110. Yeah. That we've already got 218 colors. Crazy. Is insane. What are you gonna show us about this one product you can do three services with? What are those three services? I think this product is probably one of the most important products you can have in your salon because you for can sure. use it in so many different ways. Yeah, like, for sure. Talk about a savings. Right. Um, and we're always getting constantly asked, like, when are you getting new colored acrylics? 218. 218. <laughs> yeah, we got a few. Yeah. Um, so we're going to show it in the three different ways. We're awesome. going to do resin, which is like your dip traditional, traditional way of doing it. Awesome. We're going to show how to use it with our conversion base and top. So right. it's kind of like a gel polish and acrylic had a little baby they got together this is what you get um and then with liquid monomer yeah. as a colored acrylic huge yeah. so versatile i'm excited about this i can't wait are you ready sure let's do it i am really excited to tell you guys about our new 108 slick pour colors but what I'm most excited about is showing you three different ways you can use slick pour. A lot of people don't realize, not only is it a dip powder, you can use it as a regular acrylic and we can sprinkle it into conversion gel. So anybody can use slick pour powders. I'm gonna show you the three different ways right now. Okay, these are the three nails we're gonna work on. The first thing we're gonna do, of course, is start by pushing back the cuticles. We are actually going to prep all these nails the exact same way no matter which way you're going to use your slip pour. So I'm gonna grab my medium cross cut or your medium sanding band, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna grab our finger, I'm gonna pull back that skin. I'm gonna tuck right in that back area, make sure that's nice and cleaned first. Then we're gonna follow through and remove the shine. Now Steph has a little bit of acrylic left, but we'll just act like this is an overlay. Same with this one, I'm gonna pull back the skin up that natural nail, follow through, remove the shine. And for our last one, exact same thing. Pull back that skin. Make sure we get that nice and clean in the back. Follow through, remove the shine from the whole surface of the nail. Okay, next let's grab our swipe. I'm gonna clean off all those nails. The first one we're gonna start with is using it with resin. When you're using slick pour with resin, we do not use protein bond. We're gonna grab step number one. This is just gonna ensure that that nail is nice and clean and dehydrated. Do that to all 10 fingers. Next, let's grab our color. We're gonna be using Rock God Blitz, which is one of our newest colors. And I prefer to pour, so we're gonna grab our little spoon and we're going to grab base, which is step number two. So we're gonna take our finger, we're gonna get a nice amount on our brush and we're gonna paint it out all the way over the whole surface of the nail, making sure we hit those sides. While it's still wet, we're gonna take our spoon and we're just gonna pour the product over the top. I like to do this a couple times, turning the fingers, making sure everything is covered. Once we have that, we're just gonna lightly tap it off. That's such a pretty color. Okay, we're gonna do that step all the way through, all 10 fingers. Once all the 10th one is done, we're gonna do a second coat on this one. I like to take just a cheap makeup brush and I just dust off the excess. 
This is gonna show you anywhere that you missed that you need to hit. Plus, it's gonna keep you from contaminating your base coat. So let's turn our finger where I can see it so we hit that side really nice. Again, get a nice amount. All the way through. Grab our powder. Turn our finger so we make sure we hit that side all the way through. Again, I kind of like to let it absorb a little bit and then I just lightly tap her finger. All 10 fingers again. Once that's done, we'll come back with the activator coat. Okay, after you've done the 10th finger, again, we're gonna take that makeup brush, just dust off the excess, make sure we've hit everything we wanna hit, we're good. Take that step number three. This is gonna set everything. Again, just a nice coat over the whole surface of the nail. The dusting off that excess powder, that just makes sure we don't contaminate our number three. Do this to all 10 fingers. Once you've done that, we'll come back, file in shape, and get to our top coat. Okay, now we're gonna take a file. Gonna clean up our sidewalls. Make sure we're nice and tight there. Make sure we've got a nice shape. Turn it this way. If you have any bumps or lumps, you can kind of file them out but usually it's very minimal. I tend to just like to take a sponge buffer, a 180 sponge buffer, go around the cuticle area, make sure everything's nice, blended into each other, and that's usually all that it takes. Once we have that, just gonna take a dry brush, dust her off. Okay, this is really important. We're now gonna take step number three again. We're going to put a nice coat on all 10 nails all the way through. Once you've put it on all 10 nails, we're gonna take a dry wipe and we're just gonna lightly buff it in. Okay, really, really important step that you do. After that, we can now take step number four. We're gonna grab a clean wipe. We're gonna put it right there. I'm gonna get a nice amount on our brush. Gonna apply it over the whole surface of the nail. Another very important step. I'm gonna take that brush. We're gonna wipe it on that wipe before we go back into the bottle. The reason for this is if you don't do that, you'll notice that your top coat starts to get cloudy. You wanna clean the brush before you go back to the top. I'm gonna to do that on all 10 fingers. We'll come back and do a second coat of top. Nice amount on our brush. Just brush it through. Again, before we put it back in the bottle, wipe your brush off. and we are done with our resin. Okay, for our next one, we're gonna use slip pour with conversion base and top. We've already prepped. Now on this one, we are going to use our protein bond. Let's get that on. Hold now. I usually just do it once with conversion base and top. You can do it twice if you're worried about lifting. We're going to grab our conversion base. I'm going to put a nice thin coat on. And I'm going to put that in the light while I work on the other hand. We'll just put it on a 30 second timer right now. Now, the reason I like to do the base layer first and cure it is I electrophile everything off. So now when I electrophile that color off that we're gonna put on top, I only have to electrophile to this base and I can reapply. So let's grab our conversion base again. Let's grab that color we were using again. 
our little spoon. And we're gonna put a nice thin layer over the hole now. Keep it nice and thin. That way it doesn't bulk the nail up too much. And we're just gonna pour right over the top. And we're just turning that finger, making sure we hit all the sides. We're gonna let it absorb a little. You kinda see it start to absorb into the base coat. And then we'll just lightly tap it off and get this in the light for 30 seconds. Again, take that cheap makeup brush, dust off the excess. I'm gonna grab that base coat one more time. Cover the whole surface of the nail. Oops, if I balance myself. So I don't shake as much. I'm still gonna shake though. Get it in that corner through. Grab that color. Let's pour. Again, we're just turning that finger. Kind of like to pull back the skin, make sure we're getting it right in the cuticle area. Let that base kind of absorb the powder a little bit. Okay, we're gonna tap it off. Let's get it back in the light. I like to do a final cure of one minute, especially since we have color. That way the light penetrates everything and everything gets fully cured. And dusty, dusty. At this point, we can go ahead and file and shape. Whatever you need to do. smooth. I usually just go through with a 180 buffer. Just kind of follow through and make sure that cuticle area is nice and tight. Take a dry brush. I'm going to hit the surface with protein bond. And this way we know it's not going to separate the top coat from the nail. All 10 fingers. Come back in with our conversion top. Nice amount over the top of the whole nail. That is so pretty. Okay, let's get it in the light for another minute. We're going to take our manicure cleanse and go ahead and remove that sticky layer from the nail. And we are done. Let's move on to our third look. This one, just like the conversion gel, we're going to protein bond. Do all 10 fingers, then we're gonna come back and do a second coat. Okay, let's do our second coat and get our form on. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, I'm gonna grab cover pink acrylic. Okay, we're gonna grab a little bit of that pink and I'm gonna put a little bit on the natural nail. And because I'm doing a glitter fade kind of up and over the natural nail, I like to do this so when I go to do maintenance, I only have to electric file to that and I don't have to go all the way down to the natural nail. Okay, so now once we got the pink on, we're just gonna throw these two colors on. Let's take a little bit of this one. Let's just place it and kind of run it up, run it down. Okay. 
brain blitz. If I only had a brain. Just throwing it on. And just running it. Have fun with it. Nice little mixed metal look. Okay, once we have that, just like using a colored acrylic or glitter with acrylic, we're going to take our clear and cap it to get our strength and to protect our look. Grab ourselves a nice size pearl and get it placed down. Now holding that finger down so gravity's flowing for us. I want to make sure we have enough strength. And we are done. We'll file this, we'll shape it, we'll put a top coat on, and we'll show you the final three looks after this.